Sometimes I rhyme slow, sometimes I rhyme quick, quick, quick. My worst experience as a DJ, I had just started playing in Albany and getting to know people, and there was this club in downtown Albany called Ground Zero. It was on t- uh, Pagliacci's down in Albany. My buddy Jim was like, ran it somehow. Jim is a international man of mystery. I love that guy. I love him now. <laughs> um, so I, I go down there. The club is packed. You know, my the guys, the audio underground crew. I'm not part of the crew yet, but they're all there. They let me come down, and the club is packed. I mean, there's probably 500 people on the dance floor, and I'm with my girlfriend and this other dude who shall remain nameless. We don't say his name. So I'm with my girlfriend and this other dude, and they. My, my friend, the DJ, invites me to step up to the, the decks and mix the track. So I'm like, my hands are shaking. I've never even really played out. And I'm freaking out because I don't know the records. I, you know, they're, they're just the records that are on there that will work because he set me up. I misread the, 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 the dark line on the record. I misread that thinking it's a breakdown when it's the end of the song. <laughs> so the it just, the song plays out and silence. <laughs> I mean it was I was I was humiliated. It was it was it was horrible. And Jim <laughs> he looks at me and he's like, "Yo, get off the decks." I mean, I got kicked off the decks in front of my girlfriend, this other dude, and like every DJ in Albany. <laughs> it was horrible. But I tell you what, um it wasn't long after that that you know I I threw that uh, the rave with Micro and I invited Jim as my guest and you know gave him VIP he appreciated that and you know ever since then Jim has seen me play in Miami Jim's been a huge huge supporter of my DJ career he's been a huge supporter of he's just just me being he's just been a friend he's just such a great friend you know he was in my wedding. Our mine and Maribeth's wedding, and you know I love Jim so much. He's such a great guy, but that I love telling that story. It's it's just the craziest circumstances to f- fail horribly at something, <laughs> and just you know kind of pick yourself back up and move forward and try it again, and you know to kind of, and then to have this relationship with someone who. You're meeting them as a DJ to play at their club. That's the only the only thing there is. And 20 years later, he's one of your best friends. So, uh, Jim, thanks, brother. Thanks for kicking me off the decks. Kendra, thanks for not breaking me up over me that night. 